I'm out here. It's a glorious day under the African sun. I uh, brought out my Lee Enfield uh, to do some gong shooting over 100 meters. The bullet I'm using today is the Lee 115 grain, uh, what they call a, the Lee soup can. It's a 115 grain uh, um, Lee uh, cast bullet. Uh, the um, charge that I'm using is 16.5 uh, grains little gun and uh, I loaded some PMP brass with uh, Winchester large uh, pistol primers. So um, let's see how they do. Okay, so I just uh, fired four shots um, at the gong uh, 100 meters away and this is how the bullets performed. The first shot, second, third, and then I compensated two minutes, one minute uh, to center it and that was the fourth shot. Since I fitted the uh, Axis Precision Works muzzle brake and tuner, the accuracy of my cast bullets has increased dramatically. Every time I aim and shoot at the target, there's a hit on the gong. Wow, phenomenal. I love this. In fact, it's actually becoming quite boring. So it's boringly accurate. Just imagine what this little bullet will do to a jackal or a coyote. I think this is a quite a good Moment load. Boom again. Fifteen rounds. All hits. What I enjoy about shooting this particular cast bullet uh, because of its weight, 115 grains, it is a um, a very fun bullet to shoot with because the report of the rifle uh, with earmuffs on sounds like uh, I wouldn't even describe it maybe as as loud as a um, uh, .22 LR uh, maybe a little louder but what I find 
is that this um, bullet with the propellant charge has hardly any recoil and it's fun just for plinking uh, it's not a lot of money that you spend on each round I mean, 115 grains of a gas check probably the gas check is the, is the most expensive part of the bullet <laughs> 